Hi, I'm Chuck Berman. Someone asked me, how do I, using Lightroom, just Lightroom 2, set up a basic copyright watermark on some photos that I want to upload to a website? Well, that can be done very, very easily. Let me show you how. Now, I'm going to be using Lightroom 2 here, and I'm just going to pick a few images. Here's one here, and we'll take this one, and maybe come down here and pick one or two more. Okay, we'll take, uh, let's take that one. Okay, so I've got these four images chosen, and I'm just going to put my copyright watermark on those pictures. It's going to go in the lower left-hand corner. Now, I need to make sure that I have my copyright metadata already entered. So I come over here. Now, I'm in the library module, and I come over here to my metadata, and I scroll down until I see my copyright status. It says copyrighted, and it has my copyright information in it. If you want to change that, uh, basically, you can go in and change that, just like that, and you're ready to go. Now, like I say, I've selected some images that I'm going to put my copyright watermark on, and I'm just going to click on the Export tab over here in the lower left quadrant. And I click on that. And what I'm going to do is, since I'm going to put these up on the web, I'm just going to say, for all practical purposes, let's just say that I'm going to put this on the desktop in a folder for email. Well, there's already a preset over here for email, so I just click on that and it asked me a few questions. Where do I want to export these to? Well, I can choose a specific folder, and right now that folder is the desktop, and I can put it in a subfolder, and the default name of that is to email. Well, I'm going to change that, and to change it, you just click on it, and I'm going to say copyright watermark. Copyright watermark. Oops, now watch. It doesn't like that. And the reason it doesn't like that is because there's a space in there. And that space is uh, not consistent with something to put on the web. So what I do is I can just run that together, or I can put a dash in there, or put an underscore if I want. Now, I can add these pictures to this catalog if I want, but I'm not going to do that. If there's already a folder out there and there's some existing files in that folder with the same name, you want Lightroom to ask you what to do uh, rather than just to overwrite the files or delete them or stop. Okay, you can come down here and use the same name that you have on your image if you want, or you can change that name to one of several things. You can go in and these images are all raw images. But when I export, since I'm exporting for email or exporting for the web, it's automatically going to go out as a JPEG, or I want it to go out as a JPEG, because you really can't use some of these others on a, uh, on a web page. So I'm going to make my quality, uh, whoops, let's bring the quality up here to about 75, 74. My color space for the web is sRGB. I want to make sure that that's sRGB. And then I can resize these uh, to fit a certain size. Well, if, if you don't know what that size is, uh, you just say, don't resize it, and it'll put a very big image up there. But you don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say, I want it limited by 1,000 pixels in width and 1,000 pixels high, and 72 pixels per inch. I'm not going to do any output sharpening. And as far as the metadata, I can minimize the embedded metadata, which will make the file smaller. And here's where you add your copyright watermark. And it's just a cookie cutter thing, and it does it automatically as long as you check that box. Post-processing, you can have it do nothing. You can have it open up in Photoshop. But what I want to do is I want to show it in the Finder. So now all I have to do is I click Export, and it takes all the images that I had highlighted, all four images in this case, and it's exporting those images. 
you can see the progress happening up here in the upper left hand corner with the progress bar. Now when this is finished, it will show the images on my desktop. You can see here they are. They're in a folder called Copyright Watermark. And now all I have to do is just highlight that. And since I'm on a Macintosh, I just hit my space bar and it opens it up. And you can see right down here, I have my copyright watermark. And I can just scroll through those images and you can see that the watermark is in the same place on all the images. And that's all there is to it.